Hey what's up guys this is Akshay from AS Learning and today we're gonna see about stanza library. So we all know that core NLP is one of the Java packages of Stanford right. So this core NLP package because it is in Java didn't receive much of a popularity because most of the data science stuff today are done into Python and a lot of data scientists are preferring Python over Java and that is why a lot of research which was done into Stanford was not open sourcely available to many of the people practicing data science. So that is why I think in April or around that period Stanford and its development team of NLP group came up with a Python library called Stanza. So Stanza Stanza is a library which uh, it's an NLP package for many human languages. So it's a collection of accurate and efficient tools for many human languages in one place. So as per my knowledge up till now, I haven't seen any library, whether it is Gensim, Spacey or NLTK which compromises so many languages which are covered into stanza so stanza currently covers 66 human languages and that is almost okay to cover the entire population on this world starting from raw text to syntactic analysis and entity recognition stanza brings state-of-art nlp models to languages of your choosing we all know about the uh, the kind of NLP work which is done at Stanford and the level of the models which are developed there. All these models are now available to us with the help of Stanza in Python. Up till now they, they were uh, available in the form of core NLP which was a Java package and now finally Stanford has come up with a Python package to give a good beating to libraries like Gensim, Spacey, NLTK and all. So let's see more about it. It's a Python natural language analysis package. It contains tools, it creates a pipeline for human language text into sentences and words. So basically, it works on the fundamental of creating a neural network pipeline. And uh, yeah, it compromises around 60 languages and and it has covered so many languages because of its universal dependency formalism because of that and i'll show you the uh, picture of that uh, picture of that yeah so this is the uh, neural network nlp pipeline so here you can see that we have uh, separate processors for all these activities of uh, ner dependency passing parts of speech and formological tagging, lemmatization, multi-word token expansion, tokenization. So we have processors for all these major activities which are which come into NLP pre-processing and then we have 66 language for us. All these processors are available to the users for in 66 languages and then we have a document package, uh, document object, sorry, and in in document object we have sentences and in sentences we have words in words we have tokens and those words have their own respective lemma parts of speech head tipril and all so we will see this uh, entire thing into pa into a python code also right but this is how the neural network pipeline of stanza work and the entire this is the fundamental block of stanza library okay now let's uh, so if you want to use stanza you first need to do a pip install stanza uh, I, I would recommend you create a, a, a virtual machine because uh, uh, sorry a virtual environment because uh, it works on a PyTorch framework so there can be some dependency issues so I created a virtual environment and then I uh, installed stanza so I am importing stanza I'm downloading stanza for English language uh, considering the 
crowd of my uh, YouTube channel, but you can do it for 66 different languages. Okay. After that, uh, I'm creating a pipeline here and uh, calling it NLP. Okay. So as you can see that uh, you have a very easy functionality of using GPUs also NVIDIA GPU. All you need to do is just pass in processor uh, into your parameter comma use GPU true. So I'll show you that if you want to do it. I think it's present here. Mm, pipeline and processors. That parameter of use GPU. Yeah, so here you can see use GPU true. And in this way, you can start using your NVIDIA GPUs for it. Okay. And as I told you, we have different processors for uh, different activities like tokenized, POS, Lemma, dependency passing, sentiment, and, and any others. Okay. Now, uh, we. Uh, we created a pipeline for English language, right? And we'll be feeding our sentence. So I've taken a sentence, Akshay is teaching, stands a library. And I've created a doc object from it, okay? When I print this object, just see the results of this object. I have a ID, then I have a text, that is Akshay. I have a, a, a lemma of it, that is lemmatization. I have a up POS, so up POS is nothing but parts of speech done by universal parts of speech tagger okay and we have a xpos for uh, when the parts of speech is done by using tree bank okay so in this way we have two parts of speech as you can see that your uh, universal parts of speech is failing to identify out properly as aksha is a proper noun okay then we have a uh, feeds here we have number is equal to singular, we have your head, we have your dipril, then uh, we have our starting character, we have the n character and we have the ner. So ner is nothing but our name entity recognition. Okay, then, uh, then similarly, these things are also uh, done for every other token of it, right? So we have a sentence, we have words and then we have tokens. So as you can see, we have a library, lemma library, opposed noun noun. So here, here, we, here we are finding a match. Then feeds, we have numbers equal to sing. Head is three, ripples object, and uh, miscellaneous start character, end character, and we have NER as zero. So it has not identified an NER here, okay? Where it has identified, it is tagging something. So here it has identified stands as an organization. So we have ORG here. Here it is not. So we, we are seeing a zero. Okay. For understanding these features like feats, head, dipril, into much more detail, I'll uh, uh, recommend you all to go to the official uh, stanza documentation and you will find details on it. Okay. Now, next we will see about the entities. So, entities is nothing but NERs, and uh, it had identified two NERs here. First one was for Akshay, so it identified it as a person, and next one is stanza, it's for organization. Okay, so we are seeing these two things. NERs is cool, and NERs is uh, something which uh, I personally do from Spacey a lot, and Spacey NERs are really good. Then uh, if we try to see the sentences as words, so we can see a word dot text is Akshay, we have a lemma and we have XPOS accordingly. Okay. Uh, if you want to set up processors uh, while uh, setting up a pipeline, so you need to pass a dictionary. Okay. And you can choose your uh, tokenizers, POS, NERs, lemma as per the language and uh, whichever you find best. So they have given that uh, custom ability to choose any of the processors. All you need to do is just download the model and pass it as a parameter into this dictionary and just pass it to your pipeline. Okay. So yeah, so next we will be seeing the first and basic activity that is tokenization and sentence segmentation by using stanza. So I've created a pipeline here of language english and i've kept my processors as tokenized okay 
and uh, I've taken a sentence Akshay is teaching stanza stanza is the next revolution okay I've created a doc object and after that I've in, I've in, I've enumerated it and just traversed from the result so as you can see I'm getting the tokens of Akshay is teaching stanza then we have also tokens in the next language that is stanza is the next revolution now we will go for parts of speech so similarly i've used a processor here as uh, mwt that is multi word tokenizers and pos th that is parts of speech okay and i've taken this sentence barack obama was born in hawaii okay and uh, here if we see i'm getting the results barack is a word i'm getting a pos as preposition which is wrong then uh, this is the right one that is a proper noun then we have obama as proper noun then the number is singular it's not a plural thing right then we have was that is an auxiliary verb then we have born verb in it's adverb and hawaii it's again a proper noun okay then uh, now after uh, parts of speech we will be seeing sentiment analysis using stanza so in sentiment analysis uh, using stanza what they have done is they have divided it into three sections 0 1 and 2 so if it is 0 it will be a negative sentiment if it is if it is 1 it will be a neutral sentiment and if it's 2 it will be a positive sen sentiment so for example purpose i have taken here the example of ram is a bad boy so we all know that this is a sentence with a negative sentiment and as you can see when i run the sentiment processor of stanza on it you can see that it has given me the result of zero which is negative now if i change the sentence to ram is a good boy so it has uh, converted into two that is it's a positive sentence and finally ram is a boy then it's a neutral sentiment so simple as sweet we have our sentiment analysis by using stanza and finally we have uh, lemmatization so we all know what is lemmatization it is a dictionary representation of the word okay and uh, here i've taken the lemmatization for akshay's teaching stanza and as you can see for teaching we are getting a lemma of teach and for even for is we have a lemma of b okay so this is what is lemmatization so this was a short tutorial on the potential of stanza we saw the basic fundamental structure of stanza that was the pipeline structure then uh, we also have some basic activities like activities like tokenization then parts of speech lemmatization NERs, and sentiment analysis i recommend you all to go to this official page of stanza and explore into much detail what stanza is and what are the more potential things which you can do with stanza they have also given an interface to access their core nlp java library so they have not deprecated it but they have created a python interface for it so you can access all those functions and libraries of core and core nlp also having a python wrapper on top of it i highly recommend you stanza and i uh i would like to see how stanza grows more and how it comes in it how it comes up with competition with gensim spacey and uh, nldk and all so let's see how it goes maybe the next versions of stanza will give us more about what stanza and its potential is we all know how powerful stanford and the the nlp group of stanford is and we are really waiting and hoping for more such amazing work to come from them so that's it with this video guys if you like this video share it with all your python machine learning and nlp friends stay tuned for more such amazing content on as learning and if you're free and have time check some other videos on our ai playlist too thank you take care peace out